All righty, let's get busy with it, everybody. Are you ready for a little bit more snow and uh, to be shivering over the weekend, in particular on Sunday? Yes, indeed, it is going to be cold. High temperatures, upper 20s. We've got wind chills down into the teens projected, and there can be uh, a few hours where wind chills go down into the single digits. It is going to be a bone chilling weekend and a cool seven day forecast, but we do moderate. There is one day on the seven day chart here where we get into the lower 50s. We'll investigate that further coming up. 36 degrees and a west wind at 15 to 20 miles per hour. Those have been gusting to about 25 to 30 even on occasion this afternoon and evening. Um, it's going to be a windy weekend as well. That's why I was talking wind chills down into the teens. Commonplace, it looks like, certainly by later tomorrow night and into Sunday, and probably even early tomorrow morning as well for a stretch. Snow amounts, not impressive, but enough to whiten the ground, particularly on car tops and on shrubbery around the region. I would say a coating to a half of an inch is likely the uh, you know the type of a turnout we'll have in Grand Rapids, something like that. And then where these uh, baby blue colors show up but with a little bit better trajectory of snow bands coming off of Lake Michigan. It's kind of lake enhanced, I would say. Not lake effect necessarily, but lake enhanced, meaning that a weather disturbance also picking up some lake moisture contributing to these snow amounts that could actually get to an inch, inch and a half, two inches in some of those spots down to the south, say South Haven, maybe over towards Kalamazoo and then northward in the vicinity of Muskegon, northward from there. Here we go. Day planner tomorrow. 30 degrees at 7 a.m. If you're headed out for that early morning coffee, coffee, it's going to be cold with some scattered snow showers around and even a few slick roadways, certainly down to 30. Uh, look out for that. Flurries uh, through the morning and afternoon. Scattered variety really not accumulating. In fact, the snow on the ground, if there is some, which we've got the potential for that, as I mentioned, a coating, it'll melt into the afternoon as we get to 35 degrees. I'm not looking for any sun. It'll be a completely cloudy day, but it is late March. Some of that radiation from the sun still gets through the clouds and it'll help to melt it off as the day does proceed. Light rain to snow showers here in the short term. I would say we're changing over to flurries and snow showers by about two, three in the morning. Downright frigid weekend weather indeed. That is an accurate way to describe it, I would say, with temperatures in the upper 20s and an average high of 50. Uh, actually, it's 49 on Sunday, but close enough. We can call it 50 Sunday. I believe officially we go to the average high of 50 on Monday. Satellite and radar. We've got a rather notable upper level disturbance. You look closely. There's there's a subtle little swirl there near Chicago that dives into northern Indiana. It's got some rain showers and snow showers. The atmosphere is trending colder, though, so those green colors going over to purples and whites, as I said, by around 2, 3 in the morning, already getting some snowflakes apparently across Van Buren County into Kalamazoo. So if you live in that part of our viewing area and you've looked outside, I think you're likely seeing a few snowflakes mixing in with that rain. Temperatures actually milder to the north than they are southward into Kalamazoo, or at least very close. There are a couple 35s on the board here. Hastings, there it is, Kalamazoo, 34 degrees. So it is cooler down to the south than it is off to the north. And those deeper blues and purples in southern Canada and the extreme northern United States, that'll be swinging in here for tomorrow. A northwest flow pattern. When you hear that, it means the winds at the upper levels are going from northwest to southeast across the weather map, and that's drawing down cold air here over the next several days. Again, we do bump to 51 or 52, 53 there early on Wednesday, but then right back down into the below normal temperatures, I think thereafter into next weekend. Here we go, picking it up overnight. You see the purple colors becoming more prominent out there. And that is indicative of snow showers that actually can reduce visibilities at times overnight. Got some flurries tomorrow late morning into the afternoon. Flurries on Sunday as well. This cold air mass is going to invigorate some lake effect snow activity. So perhaps a new dusting or coating, particularly near the lakeshore on the back half of the weekend. There we go, Josh. Uh, yeah, temperatures looking cool through the seven day. Next chance for rain on Wednesday. All right, Anthony, thank you. Plastic materials from water bottles to straws.